What's up everybody? It's part two. The dream is real. Last time I think I left off with uh, talking about relationships and how they should be conducted and constructed. You treat relationships like, imagine being in school, right? And you walk up to your desk and you sit down to a piece of paper. Now, on this piece of paper could be, it could be blank. It could have a lot of words on it, just information. It could have numbers, questions, or answers, multiple choice, you know? But when you walk into this classroom and you sit down to this piece of paper, you're learning that piece of paper. You're going to learn what's on that piece of paper. Okay. That's your relationship. Each relationship should be treated just like that piece of paper. You know, a human being is like science, English, math. It's something complicated. But if you take each day you step into class, each interaction, one step at a time, then eventually you learn math. Eventually you learn English. <clears throat> I mean, uh, sometimes you're going to be tested on your knowledge. To be tested ain't bad. That's just how we learn each other. We, we rub each other wrong in order to learn what to do right. And if we all conscious and available mentally for this challenge at all times, we're always aware that she's a piece of paper. I'm a piece of paper. This interaction between us is a piece of paper, you know? We'll be free and able to build a stronger society. Sometimes we get complacent and think, oh, I know him, oh, I know her. But if him or her is math, then all you keep adding up is numbers. You never realize that it was letters over here because you was in the first, second, third, sixth grade. By the time you get to the ninth, tenth, eleventh grade, now they throw some letters in there. Now you multiply X times Y times Z plus Pi. But yet you thought you knew them. You thought you knew numbers just because you could count to 100. You know? And it, life ain't really that simple like that. It's, it's each day. Each interaction is a piece of paper. You can't get tired well, you can. You, you're allowed to drop a class. If a class ain't working for you, you're allowed to drop it. But if you want to be a science major, then guess what? You can't drop that piece of paper. You can't drop that class. You know? It's just how the shit go. That's interactions with people. And we're talking about building a stronger society. Um, more brotherly love, more sisterly love, more guidance and support from each other. There's no such thing as, I don't want nobody in my business. This is a big ass cloud that's held over the black community. But, I see it worldwide. Here, motherfuckers.